Every day, the Jiang Han Customs Clock Tower, like that of the Shanghai Customs House, echoes the melodies of Westminster Abbey, reminding us of the many vicissitudes she has witnessed over the years. Impressive as it may be, the magnificent toll of the bell cannot be heard in every corner of Grand Wuhan. The city of Wuhan consists of three towns, which are divided by two rivers. It spreads out across an area of 8,569 square kilometers, confirming Sun Yat-sen's prophecy concerning its development in his book, The International Development of China, where it is written, we must adopt for its development a scale as large as that of New York or London. Of course, its large size alone is not what makes this city great. Fresh water, a resource globally considered to be exceptionally valuable now in the 21st century, makes up 25% of the city. Wuhan boasts a number of stunning mountains and grand water sources. Of her 166 lakes, the East Lake is recognized as the largest urban lake in Asia. Daniel Klemms, a world-famous racer from Luxembourg, once told local reporters excitedly that the road running along the East Lake was the most beautiful track he had ever run. Beauty becomes Wuhan's richest resource. In addition, regarded as a new landmark of urban ecology upon its completion, the Garden Expo was fabulously open to the public and won the C40 Cities Award at the United Nations Climate Change Conference. Wuhan, with a population of over 10 million, is located in central China, at the heart of China, like the Tianyuan Point on a Weichi board. This city's geopolitical significance makes it an important point, one definitely capable of changing the game and affecting the big picture. Wuhan has long been a city dedicated to innovation and new ideas. 500 years ago, the divergence of the Han River gave birth to Hanko. Over the course of 350 years, Hanko developed into China's largest inland port for foreign trade. It could be said that the docks and ships scattered about are the genes that make up the DNA of Wuhan. It was some 100 years ago that Zhang Zhidong, the then Viceroy of Hubei and Hunan provinces set about shaping Wuhan into the cradle of modern Chinese industry and commerce. In 1891, Zhang Zhidong held a grand banquet for Nicholas the Crown Prince of Russia, who had traveled all the way to visit the oriental port of Hanko. Since the 17th century, the tea road, which originated in Hanko and stretched all the way to Kyatka in the north, has been hailed as the artery of the century, witnessing close trade ties between China and Russia. When the tea bearers of the tea road began to feature on late Qing Dynasty stamps, this tea port's significance was fully established as it entered into Chinese stamp history. In Wuhan today, bridge designers have gone even farther than the tea bearers did a century ago as they set out from the bridges on the banks of the Yangtze and Han River to amaze the whole world with their expertise. Do you know that 50% of the world's long-span bridges were actually designed and constructed by Wuhan-based talent? Moreover, many designers of the world's fastest transportation vehicles also gathered in Wuhan. And 60% of the high-speed railways, which are hailed as a signature of China, were designed here in Wuhan. The One Belt, One Road initiative has reawakened the ancient tea road as the opening of the Hanko Xinjiang Europe Railway that directly links Wuhan with Duisburg has become a major freight corridor in Eurasia. In Wuhan, the auto capital of China, major auto brands like Peugeot, Citroën, Renault, GM, and Honda gather together and all cars, regardless of their engines, run at the Chinese speed. Optics Valley of China, located here in Wuhan, represents the highest level of optoelectronics research and production in China. It ranks first globally for the scale of its optical fiber and cable production operations.
the relationship between Optics Valley and Silicon Valley, as well as the relationship between Wuhan and Chicago, are part of the larger Twin Valleys, Twin Cities cooperation plan. Additionally, the approval for the building of an all-around innovation reform experimental area and the national strategy of constructing the Yangtze River economic belt are pushing Wuhan on China's grand chessboard for new developments of global impact. National strategy examines and identifies advantages of talents. Wuhan tops the list of the Chinese cities with the greatest number of institutes of higher education and it has more college students than any other city in the world. With approximately 80 universities and 1.3 million students, there is truth to the statement, only Hubei's got talent. Wuhan, the right place, the right time, and the right people. As the Tianyuan point, Wuhan is activating the growth of everything around it like yeast. Its high-speed rail network allows it to move people and goods across 1,000 kilometers in any direction in about four hours. This city's reach extends to over 1 billion people and 90% of China's overall GDP, making its possibilities and potential limitless. It's no wonder that the famous American magazine Foreign Policy at Wuhan ranked 11th on par with Tokyo and Los Angeles, which were ranked 10th and 12th, respectively, on a list of the most dynamic cities of 2025. Wuhan, a city of vitality and vibrancy, has been witnessing a growing number of amazing changes. The 2.2 kilometer long Chu River and Han Street, which is known as the longest commercial pedestrian street in China, links all the historical, cultural, and eco-landscape projects between East Lake and Shahu Lake in Wuchang District. The picturesque riverside parks are distributed over the four banks of the two rivers. Which of the four riverside parks are you planning to visit? The largest of these is Hanko Riverside Park, which covers an area of 160 square kilometers. As the largest riverside park in Asia, it impresses its visitors with its fascinating culture and ethereal grace. The expression, different every day, most adequately describes this city as well as its spirit and energy. Although things are different every day, the Wuhan people remain calm and collected in the face of constant changes. The people are warm and nice, straightforward and open-minded, faithful and diligent, tenacious and persistent. Classic legends like Yu the Great, Wu Ya, and Wu Lan all demonstrated the unchanged excellent character of the people of Wuhan. Today, the sword of Mulan has made way for the racket of Li Na, a world-famous tennis player, when she shouts on the court, her strong sound echoes Wuhan city spirit, to be pioneer, to be outstanding. Wuhan's GDP exceeds one trillion yuan, turning it into the leading city for the rise of central China. This city, which has a history of 3,500 years, is sure to take off and amaze the world. The recording of an ancient Guqin song from Wuhan, Flowering Water, which refers to the Chinese view of friendship, is traveling with the U.S. Voyager 1 spacecraft. It calls upon city partners at home and abroad, and maybe even those in outer space. Wuhan, different every day.